Good morning, guys. Captain Dylan Hubbard here inside beautiful Johns Pass Village in Boardwalk. Great news this morning. Our weather has completely changed over the next couple days, which is great news. Again, this time of year, the weather is just so crazy. So we're gonna talk to you a little bit about the weather and the great news about the weather. We're gonna give you a little bit info on uh, the fishing that we've been doing, what we've been catching out here inside John's Pass. And we're gonna film that all day boat leaving, that 10 hour all day. We've been doing really, really well out there on those hogfish. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the fishing and weather report. And uh, it's time to uh, see that beautiful view this morning. It's a gorgeous morning inside Johns Pass. A little cloudy this morning, uh, but still flat calm nonetheless. Another gorgeous day to go all day fishing here at Hubbard's Marina. So we're looking forward to a beautiful morning and a great day out in the water. Now we've been talking about these cold fronts and how the weather this time of year is so unpredictable. Now this is a great example. The last three days they've been talking about this possible cold front sometime Friday night, Saturday morning. And that cold front was really worrying us. We were worried that we were gonna have a rough weekend ahead. Uh, and we were seeing this cold front sometime Tuesday night. Now, Sunday, it said the same thing. We were getting a cold front Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, and then one Friday night, Saturday morning. But now it's Monday, or no, today's Tuesday. Now it's Tuesday, and we know for a fact that weather hasn't changed for tonight. We're still expecting a little cool front tonight, tomorrow morning, but that Friday night, Saturday morning front has totally disappeared. So it is a great example of how the weather is really only accurate two to three days out. And anything beyond like a three or four day forecast is just merely an educated guess. And a lot of that stuff can change. I mean, these guys are good at what they do, uh, but it is simply a forecast. So the forecast has completely changed for this weekend. It looks like a flat, calm, gorgeous weekend a great opportunity for that super light 44 hour full moon trip we've only got a handful of people on that 44 hour full moon trip this weekend so it's a great opportunity to get out and join us for that 44 hour our 12 hour extreme this weekend looks like it's going to have no problem going out there and uh, it's going to be a gorgeous weekend friday saturday sunday that forecast has completely changed that weather has laid down gorgeous uh, so it's going to be a nice weekend. We are still expecting a little bit of adverse conditions tomorrow, and it will calm down fairly quickly on Thursday. Uh, but today is a gorgeous day of fishing. We're fishing right up ahead of that front. That front's supposed to go by sometime tonight, 7, 8, 9 o'clock. And uh, this 10-hour all day is going to go out there and fish until 5 p.m. So they're going to try to capitalize on that great bite of fish that typically occurs right ahead of a front. So really, really, really good time to go fishing is right ahead of that front. That front typically gets those fish excited and they bite really, really well ahead of that front. So that is a great opportunity today. And then behind this front, typically what will happen is behind front the fishing is pretty good behind a front but you do have to wait at least a day or two for the weather and pressures to stabilize so uh the front's coming through tonight wednesday is going to be a little bumpy thursday is probably going to start calming down uh friday friday afternoon sometime friday mid-morning that bite will probably pick right back up for us so a great opportunity to go fishing today uh, ahead of that front and then a great opportunity to go fishing on friday saturday sunday behind the front so join us for that Friday 44 hour full moon trip, super light load. Our 12 hour extremes have super light loads. Don't forget this Saturday, we have our Bass Pro Shop Seminar 2 p.m. You could win a five hour half day for two or a 10 hour all day for two. And then don't forget about our Sunday night live stream shows, guys. We're giving away a 39 hour fishing trip. We're giving away a 10 hour all day for two. And who knows, we might throw in some other free trips this Sunday night too. Now, last week we had some problems with the YouTube giveaways this week. We're going to fix that for you guys. So we're going to be giving away free fishing
Mission Trips on both Facebook and YouTube this Sunday night, 8.30 p.m. during that live stream show. And then don't forget about Saturday's Bass Pro Shop Seminar and this weekend's Super Light Load on the 44 Hour. Enjoy this beautiful Tuesday, guys. Tomorrow, make sure you uh, avoid that uh, nasty winds we have tomorrow. You definitely don't want to be heading offshore tomorrow. It's going to be a little bumpy due to that cold front. But then it should be calming down Thursday. And it looks right now to be a gorgeous weekend. So we'll see you inside John's Pass. Our three-hour shelling trip starts up this Friday. You could take uh, the, our dolphin cruise boat here. Let me show you. You can take this dolphin cruise boat at uh, 9 a.m. on Friday, and it cruises down an hour through the back protected bay waters. We go all the way through the back protected bay waters to Shell Key, and then uh, hang out at Shell Key for an hour hunting shells and enjoying the beautiful island. And then you have a 45 minute cruise down the beautiful Gulf beaches, uh, 45 minutes to an hour cruise down the beautiful Gulf beaches before coming in John's Pass around noon. So 9 a.m. to noon, it's a $29 cruise. You get an hour on the island and about two hours on the boat cruising the back bay. So definitely come join us for one of those three hour shelling adventures. We've got our free beer and wine sunset cruise. Yes, free beer and wine. You can see it right there. Free beer sunset cruise. That's $26.50 for adults. It's an hour and a half cruise. We turn the music up. It's quite a little party atmosphere and you get free beer and wine. You can't beat that. We have our dolphin watching nature cruise and eco tour daily at one and three. $24.50 for adults. That's going to give you an hour and a half uh, through the hour and a half cruise through the back protected bay waters we show you the million dollar homes the bird nesting islands and also a commercial fishing village that cruise is fully narrated uh we tell you about the history of the area talk about the local wildlife show you the bird nesting islands right now it's mating season so those native uh seabirds are donning their mating plumage so it's a really really good time to join us for one of those dolphin cruises and go see those local seabirds and their beautiful mating plumage uh, also, Egmont Key is going to start running daily here, probably next week. So we have daily Egmont Key ferry trips. Got a lot of options for you besides fishing. And then we have always tons of fishing options for you too. I hope you guys enjoy your day. I was kind of killing time, hoping that sun would poke up uh, through these clouds. But it looks like it's going to be a cloudy sunrise. But the sunrise is definitely getting earlier for us. The sunrise this morning is at a 7, 11 a.m. The sunset today is at 6, 20 p.m. So have a great day. Remember, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. We'll see you this weekend for that super light 44 hour trip or at Bass Pro Shops at 2 p.m. Saturday or during the live show Sunday night. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy and uh, get out there and go fishing, guys. Tight lines.